గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐఎమ్ డాక్టర్ సి శరత్ కుమార్ స్పీకింగ్ ఫ్రమ్ రాజేశ్వరి ఫార్మ్ దిస్ ఈజ్ అన్ ఇంటిగ్రేటెడ్ ఆర్గానిక్ మల్టీ ఫార్మింగ్ ఫార్మ్ సిచ్యుయేటెడ్ ఇన్ తరిపుర నియర్ మైసూర్ మహదేపుర రోడ్ టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు షో యూ హౌ ఏ మల్టీపర్పస్ అజోలా కమ్ ఫిష్ పాండ్ క్యాన్ బి డన్ కన్స్ట్రక్టెడ్ అండ్ మెయింటైన్ అండ్ ఎకనామికలీ వయబల్ ప్రాజెక్ట్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఏ ట్యాంక్ వాటర్ ట్యాంక్ హై లెవెల్ వాటర్ ట్యాంక్ దిస్ ఈజ్ ఫార్టీ త్రీ ఫీట్ ఇంటూ సిక్స్టీ త్రీ ఫీట్ ఇన్ డైమెన్షన్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎయిట్ ఫీట్ ఇన్ డెప్త్ సో వాట్ హ్యాస్ బీన్ డన్ ఈజ్ దిస్ వాటర్ ట్యాంక్ ఇట్ స్టోర్స్ ద వాటర్ యాక్స్ యాజ్ ఎ రిజర్వ్ వైర్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ సిచ్యుయేటెడ్ దట్ ది హైయెస్ట్ పాయింట్ ఇన్ ది ఫారం so the water which comes from the bore well it is stored in this water tank so the first purpose of the pond is the it is a farm pond the second purpose is it houses thousands of fish so fish are grown in the pond so it is a farm pond come fish pond it is made up of concrete and the walls are all made up of concrete blocks and the third purpose is it is serving as azola cultivation pond you can see the azola being grown in the pond so this azola is a very fast growing vegetable farm it is a floating farm it floats freely in the water and it doesn't require mud it is a plant but floating plant it has got roots the roots are inside the water and you can see the petals floating in the water what it requires is only water and little amount of phosphate super phosphate or rock phosphate and cow dung so every day we put about 1 to 2 kg of rock phosphate into this pond and about 5 to 10 kgs of cow dung into the pond every week that's all we put the water gets recycled the water which comes from the bore well it is stored in the water tank and the water goes into the farm through the pipes which are put at the bottom of the pond by gravity irrigation it flows into the farm so water comes from the bore well stores in the water tank and from the bottom you can see the pipe system and once we open the wall gate wall the water will go directly to the farm no energy is required and the bore wells they work by solar system you can see the solar panels having installed nearby no direct electricity from the electricity board is required because the water comes from the bore well by solar energy it gets stored in the pond and the water whenever we want to the farm it goes by gravity irrigation you can see the coconut cocoa and plantain being grown directly by using the water from the bottom of the pond which is operated by gate walls and third thing is as i already told you fish fishes are there inside the pond they eat the azola and they grow very well so azola acts as a excellent food for the fish you can see the azola which has been removed this azola is a multi purpose food is an excellent bio fertilizer for plants and excellent protein rich food for our cattle sheep and poultry so this contains about 43% protein and every day we get about 100 kg of azola from this tank about 10 by 10 feet that is 1 square feet of tank produces about 1 kg azola per day so that is the 
very very fast growing plant so that is the beauty of this one and this is taken out every day only we take about about one tenth of the production of the azola we don't remove everything every day we remove only about whatever we require so that very next day it grows so the growth of the azola the entire tank will be filled by within 10 to 15 days if i just put about 10 to 20 kg of azola it's a very fast growing plant and another thing is azola requires little sunlight about 40 to 60 percent sun only direct total sun will destroy the azola hence we have put these green coverings you can see so that they form the shade this shade is serving two purposes one it is protecting the azola from direct sunlight to an extent of about 40 to 60 percent and second thing is it is preventing the unwanted birds coming and eating the fish the fishes are protected by two ways one by this net that is green net and second by the azola itself the birds they cannot see the fish inside because azola are guarding them azola is not only a food for the fish but also they are guarding the fish from the predators how we have put the net is we have used just simple pipe with this metal so that this metal threads they have been tied all around the pond and they serve the purpose of hanging the mesh so that the mesh will not directly fall into the water by the weight so what has been done is we have used this metal wires you can see the metal wire it's quite a cheap material we can get this metal wires from the waste shops from the Gujri and very easily we can just tie all around the tank so the tank is being not only protected from direct sunlight but also protects the fish also friends this is a multi-purpose integrated high level water tank which is serving four purposes that is it is a farm pond since it's a high level pond it, no energy is required for the water to go into the farm so that is first purpose second purpose it is serving as a fish pond because we have about three to four thousand fish inside third purpose is we are growing azola which is a feed for the fish as well as excess azola is taken out and it serves as an excellent feed for our cattle and the net is protecting the pond from direct sunlight and also from the predators for the fish so this is an excellent project very economical we produce hundreds of kgs of azola every day and also we produce three to four tons fish every eight months so whatever we invest we can get back within three years by constructing this high level pond and since no energy is required other than the solar energy no additional expenditure is there the maintenance is very low just remove the azola every day and put some rock phosphate and cow dung that's all so thank you very much for watching this video i request all my farmer friends to think of doing a multi-purpose azola come fish pond in their farm so that it will be economically viable and highly profitable also thank you very much for watching the video if you like the video press the like button and if you have not yet subscribed to our rajeshwari farm channel kindly subscribe we will be coming out with newer videos with good ideas for converting your existing farm into an integrated organic farm thank you very much signing off dr c sharath kumar rajeshwari farm